Have you been wondering how people get that glow around their, their face or the outline of their body on their thumbnails? Most of you have probably tried to do it by using Photoshop. And if you're like me, Photoshop is more complicated. I'm not techie and it just frustrated me, so I never did it. Well, I found a really easy way for those of us who aren't techie, how to get that glow around the outline of your face when you make a thumbnail. So that's what we're gonna learn how to do today and I promise you, you're gonna love me for this one. All right, before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, help me out. It helps me to grow and just like when I watch other people's channels, I do the same. I help them by liking their channel, hit the notification button, subscribe and always leave a comment. Those comments are what helps every YouTuber Helped, it helps them to create their new channels because people like to leave questions and comments and that helps you to make sure you're serving your audience. So do that for me and now we'll get started. Thanks a lot, guys. So you might be sitting there going, yeah, but I don't even know what you're talking about. So here's an example here. See that glow? And here's another one and another one. That's what we're going to do today on your thumbnail. All right, I need you to head over to www.canva.com. Most of you have a free account, but this is the pro account. This is the lowest membership that they have, and it's unbelievable the, the different things that you can do that you can't do with the free account. You can get a free trial by hitting the link below. Support me. That's one of my income streams as an affiliate. But you get to look at it for 30 days, and what I'm about to show you, you're going to want to play with it because it's amazing. I'm going to take a photo that I've already uploaded, and I already have a background on it, and I want to change my background, okay? And I want to put a glow on there. I'm showing you two things today that your pro account will do for you. So here I have my thumbnail. I decided I wanted to do something inside instead of outside. And you can see some of those thumbnails out there. They're always got neat rooms. And sometimes I think, how did they get their house to look so perfect? Well, they don't. They have templates that they're using, most of them. And I'm going to show you how you can change your background, add the glow, okay? All right, so... I want to remove this background. I'm going to click the picture. I'm going to go over here to effects and right here, background remover, it's going to come off. And then it just has a picture of my image myself. Now, the, the reason I'm showing you this is because, again, it's a bonus. I know we only said we were going to talk about glows, but many people will remove that background and then they don't know how to change the background. When I remove this background, it's going to put a white background back there. See that? I cannot add a background to it. Let me go over here to elements and I'm going to show you. Um, I hit living rooms and let's use this one here just as an example. When I place it there, it will stay on top. It does not give me the option to hit position and put it in the back because of the image that's there. What happens if I want to use that image though? Let's delete that for a minute. Let's save this over here. When you download it, see here where it says transparent background. You have to click that and resave the image. And I've already done that because I'm not going to make you wait and do it again. Remember, save it with a transparent background. And that's what you want after you remove the background. I'm going to go back to my uploads. And this is my picture. Let's go to page two with the transparent background. See that? Let's go back to elements and let's go back to that living room. Same one. Now the living room's on top, just like it was before, but watch this. It gives me the option to put the template in the background and I put it in the back and now my image is on top. I can put this here and then I can blur it out just a little. So it's not so bright. See that I want me to stand out with my glow, right? And I'm gonna make me bigger. All right, now I wanna add a glow to myself so that that stands out on my thumbnail. So I'm gonna click the image of myself. I'm gonna go back to effects. Okay, I've got my image on the front. I'm gonna go back under effects. I'm going to scroll down and select glow. And this is where you can play around with the, t the color of the glow, click it twice. Right now it's black. Let's go ahead and make it red so that you can see. See how there's an outline around my image? I can make that transparent. I can make that larger in size. See how it's getting bigger? And I can also make it blurry. So how much of a glow do you want around your image? That's where you play around with that. Some people like that white glow, see that? Now my background is pretty light, so I might wanna do something pink 
or yellow, you know, make it really pop. See the pink? And then I can apply it. Go back to the effects. I didn't apply it. Go back and reset it. Okay. And then you can play with the size again here. The reset button back here if something disappears. But with that glow, then you can add your text. And there you go. You can add your text. And you have your thumbnail. So there you go. That's how you add glow outline to your image and you don't have to do it with your own image it can be around the text it can be around an object whatever it is that you're going to put the glow around you need to save it with a transparent background so that's the key when you remove the background then you have to bring it in and only go around that image so that it all right thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video